It's like, man, the only reason why I learned it is because I had to be part of this group where we had to sniff out. We had this weird thing where we had to sniff out like explosive particles if we find someone suspicious of having explosive in a car. Now you mean now you mean over there, right? Yes. I right, continue. And over here, I learned how to make a mean ass uh, pumpkin pie. I can tell you that. <laughs> Come on, you nerds ain't got nothing to add to that. I mean, he's got balls. I, not you, millennial, because you're on camera and shit. Don't talk about making bombs and shit, but I mean, <laughs> you hear what you just said? I mean, that was pretty badass. So what Actually, you're saying I, is that everything that you learned over there, Pizzy, was basically how to kill motherfuckers. Uh, pretty much. I mean, I got to hang out with the uh, explosive ordinance guys, and you want to talk about crazy? <laughs> yeah. Those guys are it. Power Beauty monkeys. Guns. They just grab explosives and just toss them in their car like it's you're like throwing a baseball and stuff in the back of your trunk. <laughs> so you I mean, if it's a C4 and you pull out the detonator, you can make a hammer out of it and start beating against a wall or something. It's not going to go off. No, so Pizzy, look, I ain't going to bust your balls, man. These boys are listening. I know they want to talk, but I ain't going to go to bed till they say shut it down. So what I want to ask you, sir, is now look, when the shit hits the fan, man, and it's like, you know, I'm not even saying all I'm asking you have you ever been into like, if you're willing, dude, if you're willing, if it would help you and be therapy, would you share an antidote from like your time there? Whatever it may be. I don't give a fuck if it's about peeling potatoes or shooting a motherfucker through the brains because you just saw your brother get blown the fuck up on your, your, your flat jacket. I don't care what it is. God damn. <laughs> yeah, don't talk about the killing. No, no, I don't I, care I, what it is. I just I'm not gonna talk I, I went everywhere. I went the full spectrum is all I'm saying. That's what I got, you know, what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I've only I had a few close calls. I'm not gonna talk about like the really deep stuff, but I did have a few close encounters where two IED encounters, one that did go off, and another one that I guess whoever set it up didn't set it up right. So when our whole convoy ran over it, it just pressed against the ground, uh the wire. And just ran, you know, moved on. It didn't pull the actual detonation until we passed it. We found out that we ran over it, All right, but it didn't go off. I don't even want you. That's fine. That's fine. But I'd just like to ask you, and again, these boys are really going to kill me now. What I want to <laughs> know is when you went over there, it sounds like, can I ask you a question, sir? Was there a certain little tiny redneck from Texas that actually come from Connecticut that was president while you were over there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I actually seen Bush at Fort Hood. Okay, and I know you military boys. Look, I'm not trying to ask you to say anything bad about your commander in chief, Pizzy. I want you to know that. I mean, straight up, brother. I mean it. So what, I wanna what I want to <laughs> ask you is, I, we're not I'll talking about Obama. He knows. He knows who I'm talking about. What I want to ask you is. If you could say anything to that little redneck from the, from Texas that was really from Connecticut, what would it maybe? What would it be? Well, I totally disagree with a lot of his policy, but at least he raised our pay. That's a military man for you, folks. That's a man that I don't even. He said enough. That's a man that has probably been through shit that you and I. Would never, and you too, Millennial Falcon, because you're I the next to speak I before don't plans. To go that we would never, because everybody says they want to go into combat until the doors fall down on Normandy. And, and nine out of ten get what we know men get when they go to combat. Oh, hell no. And I don't want to go to combat. No. And by the way, it's not, my email. <laughs> it's not bastard. It's bastard. I just, oh, I really do <laughs> want to make this point. It's bastard. Well, I should have quit you, baby. Should have quit you a long, long time ago. I should have quit you, mama. Lost such a long, long time ago. I never want to find myself here in this predicament. Down on this killing floor. Goodbye.